For years in teaching Excel, I know that when you're a beginner, there is a pretty important concept you need to understand, and that's the cursor shapes. First of all, let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm using my control key and the scroll ball on my mouse, and you notice I've got my zoom slider. All right, so the fat crosshair is actually the select crosshair. It's a white cross, a little bit thick, and that allows me to select a range of cells. And then if I come down just a little bit on the borders, I see the drag and drop handle. The drag and drop handle would mess me up big time in the beginning because I wasn't aware that I was grabbing it. Okay, let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna type my name here. I would go to select something and I would actually end up moving it. This is drag and drop. You've probably experienced this yourself. This is the same as doing cut and paste However, it's drag and drop. Okay, let me drag and drop that back up. So usually what happens is we have a range of cells selected and we want to go extend it. Maybe we didn't go far enough. And so naturally we feel like we're going to just pull it out. But when you have that handle showing, it actually does drag and drop. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Again, I'm holding my control key and using my scroll ball. So this right here would drive me nuts in the beginning. So there's two cursor shapes. There's the fat crosshair to select, and then there's that drag and drop handle. There's even more cursor shapes. In, in between the A and the B up top, this is a double-sided crosshair with arrows pointing left and right. If I double click here, it'll best fit my cells. So there's our third shape. On our rows, you have the row select, which would select the entire row. You have the column select that selects the entire column. And then you have the double-sided crosshair with up and down arrows, which allows us to size the rows. All right, perfect. Let me delete that. I'm going to put in today's date. I'm going to use a semicolon shortcut. I'm going to hold control, press semicolon, puts in today's date. I want to autofill today's date. So I'm going to go to another cursor shape, which is in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to left-click and hold and drag it down. This automatically gives me each day following today's date. And then I have the smart tag here. So if I want to do things like fill weekdays, which will automatically exclude Saturdays and Sundays, I can go ahead and hit that option. Again, we have the select crosshair. We have the drag and drop, which again is the same as cut and paste. We have best fit. We have column select, row select, and then we have our autofill options. Knowing about these cursor shapes can make working with Excel from the very beginning a whole lot better experience for you. Let me go ahead and select those. Drag and drop them back over to A. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a 1. And I really want it to count up 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to double click my autofill handle because it's going to fill all the way down the data. And then I'll hit my smart tag and do fill the series. If you learned back in Excel 97, you're used to doing this. You highlight the one and two, and then you drag. In today's Excel, double click the autofill handle and hit fill series. I hope you enjoyed that introduction to the cursor shapes. There are so many of them and they change so fast. But now that you know about them, you'll be on the lookout.